Right. So this is where generally this Apache Spark is all about. So whenever we are working on uh, uh, this Apache in reference to the Spark programming is concerned, generally normally there is a GitHub where we can uh, update the repository. What are the repositories do we have? What are the documentation we have and all everything is what something we can be updated in this. In this regard, when reference to the Apache Spark itself is concerned, this is where we have to be mentioned all the details in reference to the projects, whatever we have created so far. If there are any projects, whatever is having and all everything is what something we have to be mentioned. At the same time, in context to the code itself is concerned, either it can be in uh, R programming code or at the same time it can be Java code or it can be the cloud code and all everything is what something which can be taken into account. So now in connect to the Apache Spark itself is concerned whenever you want to perform analytics engine for large scale data processing and all here you can see there is an option called Python. So which normally for data analysis and all Python is something which normally we use it. So Python installation where we can we have to mention and update the system designers at the same time the whatever the data which has to be updated over this the kind of list which is maintained here. What are the kind of list we have taken in context to the tensor flows, right? So all this information has to be updated in this data. This is something essentially required whenever we are working on application development in reference to the uh, Spark itself is concerned, whatever the kind of Python programming do we have. So in reference to the Spark programming and all other things, it can be taken into an account. Along with that, with, if there is any kind of Scala <coughs> programming, if you want to use, majorly this Scala, Scala is a uh, programming language, majorly which is uh, useful for supporting us for uh, uh, functional programming at the same time if you want to create any kind of strong uh, static data systems <coughs> excuse me followed by this whatever the kind of uh, design decisions we want to be created in context to the applications which are connecting and redressing to the java related stuff by implementing the programming language related so that all this information has to be updated in the scala this is where generally Apache Spark followed by the Scala and all of the are something is useful here. At the same time, if there are any issues which are existed in context to the GitHub itself is concerned. So these are the different, different issues in context to this. So wherein, uh, what are the issues which are relating to this? Wherein how this is can be updated and how this can be implemented. So all these things is what something which we have to be focused more on. At the same time, the kind of actions what we have performed here. So at the same time, by building the uh, Python or at the same time, it can be a cache based images or it can be ANSI or branch Scala Hadoop related stuff. All this has to be updated in this. This is where generally this Apache Spark is something essentially useful. At the same time, when it comes to the security part itself is concerned, whatever the required security to be mentioned in the existing project. What is that we are going to perform all that? So all this information has to be updated subsequently here so that whatever is required and whatever is needed can be mentioned in this. Along with this, there are some insights. If there are any kind of insights which we want to see in context to the uh, Scala implementation itself is concerned, Apache Spark implementation is concerned, all these things can be done here equally. So this is how generally Apache Spark in context to the GitHub when we are using, this is how generally we do. This is all about session for today.